They love it here at Chapel Hill. I asked Robin if she'd like for me to say hello to anyone. After all, she was the all-around champion. She deserves that honor. She said, just the, the girls back at the gymnastics school. She's a team player in every respect back in Lincoln. Now she does a really excellent reverse hex. Way up over the bar, really good swing out of the move, which of course is the difficult part of that move. To clear the bar and yet have a tremendous amount of swing. Now here's the comb in each dismount out of the giant swing right to the top. Now this isn't the most difficult dismount being done. She needs to do double backs or pike double backs for dismounts, but she really does it cleanly and that scores for a lot of points. Her score a 9.65 and that will give her the lead for the moment. Dana Lister now coming up from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She qualified first with a 9.65 on Friday night, just 15 years old. Oh, in a little too close on that Jaeger. She's got to keep moving. Oh, it's unfortunate. She did the free hip and came out short. I think once she missed that first release move right at the top, it was a hard to get back into the exercise knowing that she had a major error right at the top. And she worked the low bar. She's back up to the high bar. Nice, tight cast of handstand. Really nice giant swing. Two in a row, really well done. And there's the pike double back. One step on the landing. It's unfortunate she had so much trouble early on in the exercise. Stormy Eaton there consoling her a bit. He says she's got an outstanding attitude. She could be a future superstar in gymnastics. At 15, she's got her head on right, and that means a lot to these coaches as they watch these athletes progress. And at 15, she's 4'10 and only 71 pounds, so it's unfortunate right here she pulls in way too close on that Jaeger flip, and of course she catches both heels, and let me tell you, that stings for a week or two. She's gonna be sore in the heel and the Achilles tendon area. Of course, now the giant swings to the dismount were really nicely done. This is one of the best parts of a routine, really smooth position. Good pike, pulls it around, and one step on the landing. Her score, 8.90. Her score, an 8.90, and she's obviously dejected, but there'll be more opportunities, Dana. 18.55, her total. Who'll be the steadiest on the unevens? We'll soon find out. She's also quite a swimmer. Welcome back, Tim Brando, along with Bart Connor at the Women's Gymnastics Individual Championships. Megan Fenton qualified with a 9.65, the top spot in this category out of Sandy, Utah, only 14 years of age. By the way, we will be cutting into the Becker and Mayotte match with the Davis Cup Finals. Two games apiece now. Two championships for both the West Germans and the Americans after Becker's victory that you just saw earlier here on ESPN. McEnroe with the win today, and it was a straight set victory over Yellen, and now it's Becker against Mayotte, and we'll be going to that a bit later. Now Megan Fenton. She was born in Seoul, Korea, She'll be a freshman at Union Middle School this fall and competes for Rocky Mountain Gymnastics. And like most of the gymnasts in the finals, she mounted with a straddle over the low, up to the high bar. Oh, nice giant swings. And there's a full over the top, right to a reverse hack. That's a terrific combination. Back down to the low bar. Kips back up, shoot through to the high bar, free hip right to the top. So far, a very clean and crisp exercise. And a nice, easy layout with a full twist dismount. She's got to be pleased there. See her South teammates. By the way, all of the competitors from the South made it to the finals. You can see here on this giant swing and then full over the bar right to a reverse heck that's a terrific combination that revert he reverse heck is very difficult to do alone let alone with a full turn in front of it 
Then of course here, she picks up with a really clean giant swing. And this dismount is not the most difficult being done. It's just a backflip with a full twist. It's very clean. She needs a 9.6 to take the lead and get the gold, and she got it. Megan Fenton with the gold medal performance and only 14 years of age. <laughs> they just get younger and better in go, women's gymnastics go. here in the United States. So Megan Fenton just gets by Robin Richter, who was the gold medalist in the all around. She'll take the silver and Juliet Bangeter, also just 13 years old, gets the bronze. For Bart Connor, this is Tim Brando saying so long for now, but you know we'll be back. We've got synchronized swimming and gymnastics history. This is the largest crowd ever to watch a gymnastics event of any kind in the United States. 20,400 here in the Triangle area. And Bart Connor, you say without 84, none of this could have happened. Yeah, I think this is a tremendous tribute to the popularity of the sport of gymnastics these days. Think about it. We have over 20,000 people here, and we don't really have our top name performers like Christy Phillips, Phoebe Mills, Tim Daggett, Scott Johnson. So it's nice to see that the sport of gymnastics and and the people who are supporting it are willing to come out and see the potential new stars of our program. What they've learned is that the second tier, if you will, of gymnasts are outstanding and that we have quality depth as we head for 88. And because of that, the second tier of the, the Dean Dome is quite full. The balance beam is our next individual piece of apparatus and our finalist on the balance beam, led by Dana Lister. And she qualified with a 9.70 back on Friday night. Robin Richter, our all-around champion, along with Joyce Wilborn. All three are potential gold medalists. Dana Dabrowski, Juliette Bangerter, and Sun Janette make up the field in just five one-hundredths of a point, separating all six. That's incredible. Yeah, so it's anybody's ball game here. And, of course, that's the trick of this event is to stay on the beam. Here's Dana Lister. 15 years old. She has to come back now from the problems she had earlier on the uneven bars. One thing great about Dana is she does every trick in the book on the beam. Here we go. Flip-flop. Lay out. Lay out. And a half turn. Nice tumbling series. People have asked me time and time again, why is she so good on the balance beam? And people make comments like the balance beam's only four inches wide. Well, her advantage, of course, is she's only five inches wide. There's a full turn, of course, a requirement. And prior to that, she showed us some leaps and series. Aerial cartwheel on the end. Up. One minor adjustment, but so far the routine is very clean. Here comes another tumbling combination. Round off, layout, two feet landing right on top of it. She really does all the important acrobatic elements, and yet the whole exercise moves very smoothly. Here's the dismount, pike double. A little short of rotation, but she pulled it around one step. She likes it, and so does Coach Stormy Eaton. Great job. Good job. Very good job. She's actually coached by Christy Crabb. Her sister, Dakin, by the way, is a member of our National Rhythmic Gymnastics team, also a competitor here at the U.S. Olympic Festival. Dana did very poorly in the U.S. Championships this year, and it's really nice to see her redeem herself, and definitely she knows how to do it on the balance beam with a round off, layout, back flip to a two-foot landing. And of course, here's the round off pike double back at the end. I actually didn't think she got a great takeoff. But to show you the tremendous talent that she has, she really flips it over the top and cranks it around and pulls it in for a good landing. Isn't that amazing? You can see she's adjusting her feet to get them in good position as she readies for some of her tumbling elements. That's how narrow that beam is. A 9.75 for Dana. There is her total, 19.45. That will be tough. But so many are so close, like Sun Janab. There's definitely a disadvantage for Dana Lister. 
to go first yep. because generally the scores have a tendency to build and yet she did get off to a heck of a start with a 9.75. She'll be tough to beat. Sanjo's just 14 out of Reading, Pennsylvania and Burke's Gymnastics Academy. She has a really pretty style. She moves nicely, really solid, and yet fluid. You know, she's doing the important acrobatic elements, and yet she seems to move very nice, graceful, full turn. And she doesn't seem too intimidated by being up on a beam in front of over 20,000 people in the most important event of her life. It'll take a 9.85 for her to get past Dana Lister. She did a beautiful leap series with split leap and straddle leap. Now she's going to tumble. Back handspring layout. One small bobble, but that's a very difficult pass. I like the fluid and soft arm movements. She seems to give you the impression that this is easy for her. And the judges are looking for that. They want you to do all the difficult elements, but to make it look easy. Here's her dismount. Round off, double twist. Good landing. <laughs> Recovering from scoliosis, a back problem from a year ago, Sun Janap. She may have lost a year, really, in her progress, but she's making the most of her time here at the U.S. Olympic Festival. She's very well developed for a girl her age of 14. Here she goes, get ready for her dismount. She sets up all the way on the end of the beam, so there's a round off. And I didn't think she got as strong of a push off the beam as she normally gets as well. She was a little short on the flip. You can see with these taped ankles, back handspring, right on top of it. And there's the layout. She spots the beam. And look at that. She's not even right on top of it. But she never gave it away to the judges that she was partly off the beam. She gave you the impression she was right on top of it at all times. Her total, 19.30 after the 9.65. Not good enough to pass Dana Lister. She has a total 15 one hundredths of a point shy of Dana. Now Robin Richter, our all-around champion, it will take a 9.8 for Robin to get the lead. Robin, of course, had the meat of her life when she performed in the all-around competition here, winning in every event, or performing well in every event. And certainly, a very big performance for her was on the balance beam where she jumped into the lead with a 9.7 in the all-around competition. Switch leg split leap. Okay, she's way out on the end. And she's going to set up for a, an acrobatic tumbling pass. Back handspring, back handspring. To a layout, and she's off. It seemed to me that she was a little timid as she approached both back handsprings and did not get a solid takeoff for the layout. Of course, the gymnast has 10 seconds to remount on the balance beam after a fall, and they lose a half of a point. There's a really tough move. That's a side somersault, a front side somersault. Okay, she's worked her way back down to the end of the beam, and she's going to do her dismount. Here we go. Round off, tuck double back, really high. She just opened up a little bit too early. She's disappointed, you can tell, but just a 10th grader at Pies the 10th High School. She has had such a terrific weekend here, performing well in the all-around and, of course, in the first two event finals. It's unfortunate she fell here, but you can see as she's setting up for her dismount. There's the fall, and Obviously, you can see that her feet were on the beam, but her hips and the center of gravity was off the top of the support, so she couldn't stay with it. Here's the round off to the tuck back, and this is high. I mean, she's up out of frame. She just opened up a little early, and of course, that will be a minor reduction for the steps. Her score, a 9.10, a total 18.80.
Now Joyce Wilborn with a real opportunity here, Bart. Uh, everyone anticipates a gold for her in the floor exercise.